Halo selamat sore, berjumpa lagi bersama saya Abdul Gafur di pertemuan ke-8 BIPA Pemula dengan materi Hobi And also you can download the material in the description box below And if you have any idea, you can share your idea in the comment of this video Thank you So, start now Apa kabar semua? Oh, nice batik <laughs> So today I would like to teach you about hobby, yeah. And I would like just to recall our previous material about keluarga. Do you still remember what is father? Ayah. Ayah. Mother. Ibu. Or mama. And then what about uncle? Paman or om, yeah om. What about aunt? Tante Bibi. Tante Bibi, yes, good. And then nephew. Keponakan, yes. As well as niece. Niece. And then what about daughter? And son. Anak. Anak. Anak perempuan. Which one? Anak perempuan. Daughter or son? Daughter. Okay. And son. Anak lagi. That's great. Now we move to hobby. Yeah. So here. So here, there are some hobbies from the picture, as you can see. Which one of the hobby here that you like? Or you used to do bola. Bola. This is sepak bola. Sepak bola. And then, do you have any hobby? What is your hobby? What is your hobby, Ibu Barbara? Oh, traveling, writing, translating. One, one hobby that you like the most. Traveling. Traveling. Jalan jalan. Jalan jalan. Jalan jalan. Traveling is jalan jalan. Ibu Monica. Riding horse. Riding horse. Riding horse. Oh, riding horse. What is riding horse in Bahasa? Horse is kuda. Kuda. Riding. Jalan kuda. Jalan jalan kuda. No. Riding horse. Riding horse. Menunggangi. Oops. Menunggangi. Menunggangi. Yeah, I will. I will just say. So test your listening. Menung. N u n g menunggangi ya double g g g a n g i menunggangi kuda horse kuda ya is that is that right let me check menung nung like menunggu menungga n g a n No, G again. Menunggangi. G yes, G E. Yes, menunggangi. What about you? G with G here. Menunggangi. N G E. Yes. I think you must be right. With G here. Menunggangi. Before E. Before E. Before E. You should have G before E. Menunggangi kuda, yeah riding. And then, what about your hobby? Film. Watching movie. Menonton. Menonton. Menonton film. Yeah, just like me. Yeah, I love to watch movie. Can you repeat please? Menon. Watching films. Menonton film. Film. Me, non, n o n, t o n. Menonton. Film, F E L M, film. Menonton film, just like me, especially in Wednesday Day, it will be discount in Cinema City, right? Fifty percent. And Ola, riding bicycle, bersepeda. Bicycle is a peda, but riding a bicycle we we call it bersepeda. 
and Mas Kadek sepak bola sepak bola sepak bola football ya yeah. or soccer sepak bola <coughs> swimming do you like swimming yeah. here in Poland no What? where in the swimming pool mm -hmm. of course in the ocean, okay. in the ocean. <laughs> here in Poland no no okay in the sea in the sea in 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 sea in Poland in in okay in so far Uh-huh, maybe. Maybe, okay. But it's winter now. Yeah. It must be cold. Okay. And reading a How book. How much swimming? Berenang. B. R. B. E. R. E. N. A. N. G. Berenang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Swimming. From the root word renang. Mm -hmm. Renang is swim. Berenang is swimming. Okay. Now I want you to look at those vocab and which one that you don't know. Very good. Sorry. We don't know. You don't know at all. No, no, no. Which one we don't know or which one you don't know? Membaca. Mas, membaca. Membaca. Nak membaca, membaca. Okay. <laughs> we, we have the same style of saying. Okay. <laughs> membaca, membaca, reading. Meminjam. Yeah. Meminjam, borrowing, to borrow. borrow. To borrow. Yes. Which one? To borrow. Okay. Meminjam. So I will, or you you want to write down one by one, and I will tell you the, the okay. meaning. Okay. Okay. Because this vocab will be used to the next following text that you can also use. Toko buku? Bookshop. Toko is shop, buku is a book. So like a bookstore. Mendukung. Mendukung, support. To support. Support? To support. Yeah. So hobby is hobby. Membaca is reading, koleksi, collection, buku, book, toko buku, bookstore, membeli, to buy, membeli, to buy, perpustakaan, library. So if in bahasa Indonesia you see the word with double a, you have to read that. As if they have apostrophe in the middle of a, like perpustakaan, and or maaf, maaf is a story, yeah, maaf. So you have to put apostrophe in the middle of a. If you see double a in the word of Bahasa Indonesia, perpustakaan, library, meminjam to borrow, sekolah, I think you all know, sekolah, mendukung to support. Rack, rack in Bahasa Indonesia. In English, rack or shelf, bookshelf. Rack. Sering, often, or often. Sering. Dongeng. Do you know dongeng? Can you spell dongeng? Dongeng. Dongeng, dongeng. Yeah, okay. Dongeng, dongeng is a legend story, a folk tale story, fairy tale story. It's a dongeng, like a story for children. Yeah, dongeng. Membawa to to bring. Membuatkan. Membuat is to make. Membuatkan if there is kan. If there is me and kan in a word, it means like it's supposed to be someone as the object of this verb. For example, saya membuatkan Lucas buku. So I make you, I make Lucas a book. 
for example. Yeah, so there must be someone or something to clear the sentence. Yeah. For for example, if if it is only membuat, it is only subject, verb, and object. For example, membuat like I make a cake. Saya membuat kue. That's it. But if there is kan, yeah, in the word membuat kan, it's supposed to be I make a cake for you. <coughs> Saya membuatkan kue untuk kamu. So there is that there suppose someone or something, yeah. If there is can, and then melukis, melukis is to paint, to paint, to paint, 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 to paint. Sanggar lukis, lukis is a paint, yeah. Sanggar lukis is a studio. Studio for painting, but there are two meanings of sanggar actually, especially in my place in Borneo. Sanggar is a food. It is a fried banana with flour. It is sanggar. If you go to Borneo, sanggar is the food, yeah. But in Java, Bali, Sumatra, they call studio as sanggar. There are many sanggar, like sanggar lukis for studio for painting, sanggar tari studio for dancing, sanggar drama tari tari dancing, yeah, it is a studio for dancing. Sanggar drama it is a studio for doing a drama. <coughs> Pelatih. Pelatih is a coach or a trainer. From the word latih, train. Latih is train. Pelatih is the trainer. Mengajak. <coughs> Mengajak. Mengajak is to invite or to ask. To ask, to invite. Mengajak. Tradisional uh, eh, memasak cooking. Cooking, yeah, to cook. Tradisional, tradisional. Lapangan. Lapangan is a field. Field. Field for playing a football, for playing a uh, field. Field. Mm -hmm. For playing a tennis mm -hmm. or badminton. Yeah, we call it field. Okay, now. After knowing those vocab, I want you to translate this text. From those vocab and from the previous meetings vocab, I think you already know this, the meaning of this. If there is something that you don't know, you may ask me. Is there any word that you don't know? Sejak. Sejak since. So, sejak kecil means since I were a child, since I were little. Kecil is small. So since I were small. Sejak kecil. What else? Kini. Do you know kini? Now. Kini is now. What else? Mengajak. Mengajakku. Mengajak. You already written the mengajak. And then you just put ku. Me. Yeah. So... Actually, the, the the white word is on the gamelan room. I will tell you. If there is a ku, you already know about ku, mu, and nya mm -hmm. at the end of the word, right? <coughs> if noun plus ku, mu, nya, it becomes possessive pronoun. Like my, and then, hello, sorry. My, your, his, her, their, yeah, nya. So, but if it means verb, yeah, it becomes me, you, him, her, yeah. So the difference between ku meets verb or meets the noun, it depends. That's the meaning. 
Mengajakku means invite me. Ya. But my uh, meja, this is a meja. Mejaku, mejaku is my table. So th that's the difference of the meaning. You got it? You got it? Okay. Okay. What else? Bersama. Do you know bersama? Um, bersama. Yeah, together with. Bersama is together with. Teman-teman. Friends. It means like more than one. Teman-teman. What else? Ibu sering membaca. Sorry? Which one? Jika, do you know jika? Jika is if. Yeah. If. There is no if conditional sentence in Bahasa Indonesia, so you can use jika or kalau in conditional sentence. There is no rules or grammar or structure for if conditional sentence in Bahasa Indonesia. Sorry. <coughs> okay, now. Maskadek, I want you to translate from Namaku until SD Kusuma. Um, my name is Amelia. Mm -hmm. I'm 10 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, my hobby is. No, aku sekolah. Um, I am at school. Uh, SD, that's elementary school. Yep. Kusuma. Kusuma is the Kusuma. name yeah. of the school. I'm at the Kusuma Elementary School. Yes, okay, stop. Um, stop. Okay. Ibu Monica, next, from membaca until untukku. From membaca until untukku. I read. Membaca, reading. I read. Reading. Reading. Mm. Adalah my hobiku. Hobby. It's my hobby. It's my hobby. It's my ah. hobby. Reading is my hobby. Iya. Yeah. Sejak kecil. Sejak. Sejak. Since, since uh, I was small, mm -hmm. uh, my mother uh, often mm -hmm. uh, read me. Yeah, read me. Dongeng. Mm -hmm. What is dongeng? Story. Story. Untuk go. For me. Story for me. Oh. Story for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Hola, no, from like Kini. No, no, okay. Mas Lucas, uh, from Kini. Uh, <coughs> now I already can read. Mm -hmm. uh, mother, mother often um, inviting me mm -hmm. to library. To toko book? No, it is not library. Bookstore. 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 Mm. Okay, next, until this one. I'm happy if mm, mother mm -hmm. mm, bring bring mm -hmm. bring me bring me mm -hmm. uh, to uh, bookstore to the bookstore. Okay. Disana, do you know Disana? There. Over there. Yeah, there. Aku bisa membaca buku. What is it? I'm reading the book. I can. Yeah. So bisa is can. Bisa. Actually, there are two meanings of visa. It could be can, depends on the context. It could be can, or a potion from the snake. A toxic or a potion from the snake. Visa. <laughs> but this context is can. Yeah, there is no snake context in this, in this text. Visa membaca buku. It becomes a verb. Yeah. Can read a book. 
Aku sering membaca di perpustakaan bersama teman-teman. What is it? I often read. I often read in in library with my friends. We are together with my friends. Okay. Ayah sudah membuatkan kurak buku. My father make make me <laughs> make me a bookshelf. Yeah. <laughs> Aku bisa membaca buku setiap hari. I read. I can. I can read books, books every day. Ya, yeah. setiap hari every day. Setiap is every ya. Yeah. <coughs> setiap is every. Every day, setiap hari. Alright. So you know already about the text. Now there is a question. Umur Amelia. Umur Amelia. Sepuluh tahun. Amelia sekolah di. Este Kusuma. Este Kusuma good. Hobi Amelia. Membaca buku. Membaca buku. Waktu kecil ibunya senang. Senang. Senang is happy or like. Ya, yeah. senang. Happy or like. Waktu kecil ibunya senang bla 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 dongeng. Membaca. Membacakan dongeng. Ya, yeah. so reading a dongeng untuk Amelia. Untuk do you know untuk Four. Yes. Number five. Amelia pergi ke toko buku bersama teman-teman. Teman-teman? No. Ibu. It's different. Amelia sering membaca buku di. Sering membaca buku di. Toko Ya, toko buku dan perpustakaan. Ya. Could be both. Good. Amelia memiliki bla 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 buku di rumah. Buku. Memiliki. Membu. Memiliki is having. Memiliki is having. So Amelia have rak buku. Rak buku. Ya, yeah, it could be rak buku or banyak buku. <coughs> Ayah membuatkan, nah this is the answer. Ayah membuatkan rak, rak buku. Ya. Yeah. Number 9 and number 10 is the same answer. Amelia, Amelia sering bla 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 buku dari perpustakaan untuk dibaca. Membaca buku. Oh, no, no, different answer. Amelia sering meminjam there is no text here, but usually in the library we borrow a book. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, meminjam. Meminjam. This one. Meminjam. Yeah. Meminjam buku dari perpustakaan from the library untuk dibaca. To be read. Untuk dibaca. To be read. Amelia senang ke toko buku karena bisa. Very easy. Suka, Suka membaca, buku. membaca buku Good okay. Now I have the text here yeah, <coughs> From this question So there, there are some questions from this text But I want you later to make similar text like this But based on your hobby But first let, let us translate this one by one for example, from this question, apa hobi kamu? Do you know the meaning of apa hobi kamu? What's your hobby? What is your hobby? So, nama saya ini, umur saya 9 tahun, so this boy is introducing him. The name is Edi. Umur 9 tahun, hobi saya bermain sepak bola. Do you know bermain sepak bola? Bermain is playing. Football. Sepak bola, football. Sepak bola. Saya bercita-cita menjadi pemain sepak bola. Do you know bercita-cita? Cita-cita is a, a wish or a will for from a children. Just like me, 
I, when I was children, I, I'm wishing to be a doctor. But the reality, now I become a, a teacher. Yeah. So, cita-cita is a wish for a children. Cita-cita. Menjadi pemain sepak bola yang hebat. So, menjadi is to become. Pemain. <coughs> Main is a, bermain is a playing. Main is play. Pemain is just like this. Pelatih, pelatih is train. Pelatih is trainer. So, pemain is... No. Latih is train. Pelatih is trainer. So, main is play. Pemain is... Player. Player. Yeah. Player. So, he wishes to be... So, I wishes to be... I wish to be... Specs a uh, football player, young hebat, young hebat, hebat great, great, which is great, which is great. Or you can translate, you can put great in English. So I, I wish to be a great football player, yeah. But in Indonesia, like adjective, you put at the end of the sentence. Sepak bola yang hebat. Setiap pulang sekolah, setiap, do you still remember setiap? Every. Pulang sekolah? Home from school. Yes, home from school. So, or going home from school. Saya selalu, I always, main sepak bola. Play football. Play football. Good. Saya bermain bola bersama teman-teman. So, it could be sepak bola or just simply say bola. <coughs> Yeah, because it's the same. Bola, sepak bola. But you cannot say basketball, bola basket with bo bola as well. Because bola is only for football. The term bola, yeah, just to make it simple, the term of, foot, of sepak bola. So, saya bermain bola bersama teman-teman. I play football with my friends. Together with my friends. Kedua orang tua saya. Kedua? Second. No. Because it is at the first or at, at the beginning of the of the noun. Yeah. So it becomes both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. So if the kedua after the noun or after the word, it becomes second or third. Like for example, the ketiga or keempat. After the word. Yeah. After the noun. It becomes second, third. But if... Kedua or ketiga keempat before the before the noun it becomes both or the three of the four of yeah <coughs> kedua orang tua saya so both of my parent kedua orang tua saya both of my parents sangat mendukung sangat very very or really or so mendukung what is mendukung mendukung is support yeah very support me yeah even though there is no i again so we already know that the parents support me really really yeah sangat is really or very or so <coughs> <coughs> sangat mendukung minggu depan next week minggu depan next week mereka they, they will akan will mendaftarkan saya uh, daftar do you know daftar list. no mendaftarkan here is register register Tetap. Daftar is a list, but mendaftar is register. To register. <coughs> to register me, saya, di sekolah sepak bola. In a school of football. 
Saya akan latihan sepak bola dua kali dalam seminggu. Akan, saya akan, I will, latihan, from latih, train, latihan is training, ya. Yeah. So, I will have a training of a football, sepak bola, dua kali. Do you still remember kali? Two times. Times. Yes, times. Two times, dua kali. Dalam satu minggu. Dalam is in. Seminggu. Yes, seminggu is one week. Se. So, if there is se in week, in a year, <coughs> but cannot use in a day. Oh, yeah, it, it could be also in a day, yeah. For example, seminggu is one week. Sehari is one day. Setahun is one year. Yeah, so you can put se to make, to, to put one. To declare that it is only one week, yeah. So, <coughs> two times in a week. Or in one week. Saya punya kakak perempuan. I have, I have sister. Yes. Namanya Deti. Her name is Deti. Deti suka memasak. Deti like. Deti. Yeah. So suka is like. Deti likes likes. Yeah. Suka here is likes. Cooking. Setiap hari. <coughs> setiap hari. Ia. Do you know Ia? Ia is she. So it could be dia, it could be ia. Ia. No, it could be he also. Setiap hari ia, she, membantu. Membantu. Help. Her mother in the kitchen. Cooking, in the, cooking kitchen. in the kitchen. Her mother cooking in the kitchen. So, membantu ibu. Cooking in the kitchen. Dapur is kitchen. Okay. So now you know about Eddie, and you know why he loves football, and what happened with Eddie and his parents as well, and then what is the activity of Eddie later. And also you know the information about his sister, including his sister hobby. Now I want you to make your own two paragraphs, I think, based on this question. So it, it depends on what is your hobby. Sejak kapan? So since when? Like here, <coughs> dia sudah dari kecil suka... Main bola. Sejak kapan since when you start that hobby? Dengan siapa? With whom? You do that hobby. Number four, mengapa? Mengapa or kenapa? So it it could be mengapa, it could be kenapa. It is formal. In informal, we can say just simply say napa. It's informal. Napa? It's very informal. Yeah. But mengapa and kenapa is formal. Mengapa kamu pilih hobi itu? You choose. So pilih is choose. And then five. Apa hobi keluargamu? Okay. Now you can make your own paragraph and tell me. How you can explore the vocab, how you can explore your knowledge about, about those texts. You can combine this text to this text as well, if you want. This question is to help you to make the paragraphs. Yeah, can question? Can me one question? I understand the rule about bird. Ber? Ber, Ber, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is the rule about mum? Mum. Yes, because in the text, previous text, uh -huh. there are so many words 
Memasa. Yeah, we mum. Mm, yes. Yeah. What, in, why? In, yeah, okay. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. And when we use it? Mum is used for present continuous tense, for example. Uh -huh. In English, you can, if, if there is a word with verb plus ing, in Bahasa, it is mum or mung. Mm -hmm. or Which one mum? Uh, Membuatkan. Mum or only me? Membuatkan, membaca. So if the word be, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be me, mem. Okay. If it meets be, yeah, be. But if it meets like um, what else? Men membaca, ja. membaca, men, men, mem, men ja. eh, iya, iya. menjadi. Uh -huh. For example, if it meets j. Huh? It's supposed to be menjadi with M. Men. Men. Okay. M. M. Okay. Okay. But the other, it will be, it is a structure actually, yeah. Structure mm -hmm. of uh, prefix, <coughs> suffix. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult for you to learn it now. But I will tell you in a brief. So, M actually, the, the, the prefix is M. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, if it meets. Uh, some words, some some uh, consonant, uh -huh. yeah, it will change, okay. or it, it can okay. be it can be added with mum, with m, uh -huh. or with n, okay, yeah, see. in some words. Okay. But here you can only know about b, membaca, memiliki, come from milik, yeah. So it it, it doesn't change. So it is m with milik so like owning milik is own yeah or half mm -hmm. and then what else membaca membaca okay yeah, like if it is meets d it becomes men again i understand okay now you make your own paragraph Sudah is already. Saya mulai hobi saya satu puluh lima tahun. Satu puluh lima. Berapa? Fifteen. When you start? Ya. Saya mulai. Saya mulai sejak. 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 Since. Hobi saya. Sejak umur or sejak. Umur puluh lima tahun. Puluh lima? Fifteen years. Lima belas. Lima belas, fifteen, ya, fifteen, okay, good. Saya menunggangi kuda dengan anak dengan perempuan saya. Okay, that's it. Alright, Mas Lucas. Nama saya Lucas, umur saya tiga puluh dua tahun. Hobi saya ada menonton filem. Ini mulai saat saya kecil. Saya menonton film judul dengan judul dengan judul Josh 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 tentang Hugh tentang Hugh okay saya suka berbat berpartisipasi film festival oh okay dengan Eva dengan Eva 
the Asuka uh, Menaton film, film Juda. Oh, nice. So later, if you want to watch movie, you can invite me. <laughs> because I love to watch movie as well. Now it's... Um, there is a movie festival here, I, I heard in... Yeah, Asian Film Festival. Asian Film Festival in Murano. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that too. <laughs> but I haven't had the time still. <laughs> but maybe later. When, when will it last? I don't know. You don't know. But you have been there? Have you been there? No, no. Not yet. Nothing. Okay. If you want to go there, you can invite me later. Okay. This weekend, maybe. <laughs> Eva? Not yet. Maska Dek. Yeah. Maska Dek. 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 How is the national team? Team national. Yeah, team national. Yes, we yeah. Yeah. National. Um, <coughs> yeah, Saya bermain sepak bola bersama teman-teman. And keluarga saya suka jalan-jalan. Keluarga saya suka jalan-jalan. That's it. Okay. Okay, nice. Um, Ivona. Yeah. Nama saya Ivona. Nama saya Ivona. Nama saya suka memasak. Saya suka memasak. Saya suka memasak. Okay, good. Untuk keluarga. Okay. That's it. Okay. Hola? No. Okay, so you're not feeling good today. Ibu Barbara? No. Eva? Not yet. That's okay. Now there is an audio that I want you to listen. But before listening to the audio, <coughs> I want you to translate this one until time, so you can answer. So this is the question for the audio, yeah. Like, mengapa Anggun? So the the main character of the audio called Anggun and Ayu. So there there will be two two ladies, two girls talking. Yeah, Anggun and Ayu. Anggun is the name. Ayu also the name. <coughs> Mengapa Anggun pergi ke Sanggar Lukis? I think you already know. Mengapa? What is Mengapa? Why? Ah. Yeah, why? Mengapa Anggun pergi? What is pergi? Go. Go to Sanggar Lukis. Sanggar Lukis? Um, Lucas painting. Painting. painting, Sangar studio. studio. So the place to paint. Yeah, just remember, Sangar is only one meaning in in whole Indonesia. <coughs> but in my city, especially in, in Borneo Island, we call it Sangar for a food. Siapa yang hobi bermain basket? Siapa? What? No. Oh, Who? Who? Who, whose hobby is playing basketball? Is playing basketball. <coughs> yes. So basket is basketball. You can just simply basket only without the ball. Basket. Bola basket. And then number three. Apa pekerjaan ayah Ayu? I think you know. This is very easy. Pekerjaan. Profession. Profession. Occupation. Job. Ayah. Ayu's father. So ayah Ayu is Ayu's father. <coughs> Number four. Dengan siapa? Dengan siapa? With whom? With who? Or with whom? Anggun belajar melukis. Anggun belajar learn or study melukis painting. Apa hobi ayah Anggun? It is really easy. What hobby? Oh, what is the oh, hobby? Father. Yes. For what is Angun's, father. Angun's father's hobbies? Yeah. What is Angun's <laughs> father's hobby? <laughs> Number six. Mengapa ayah Angun mendaftarkannya ke Sanggar Lukis? Mengapa yeah. Angun? Why? Ang Angun's father mendaftarkannya. Register. Register. Her, Sanya is her. her, yeah. her to or to studio of paint. Studio of paint. Okay. 
Number seven, mengapa basket hobi yang bagus? Why? Why? Basket. Basketball. Hobi is bagus. Good. Good. Nice. Why? Basketball is a good hobby. Yeah. Mengapa basket hobi yang bagus? Number eight, kapan? So kapan? Kapan siapa? Okay, number eight, nine, ten. Kapan is when? When? Ayu dan Anggun akan berlatih basket. Ayu dan Anggun will play. Will play. Train. Train. Yeah. Will having a, a training of basketball. So ber is having having a train. Yeah. Having a training of basketball. Number nine. When are you having a train? Bersama keluarganya Together Together family. with family. Her family Number 10 Siapa yang melatih Ayu? Who? Melatih? Who's training Ayu? So melatih is training So the number 10 answer probably Is the trainer Who is the trainer? Ya yeah. Okay, now you know. Please listen to the audio. Kamu kemana kemarin, Anggun? Aku ke rumahmu, tetapi kamu tidak ada. Oh iya, maaf. Aku pergi bersama ayah ke sanggar lukis. Sanggar lukis? Kamu suka melukis? Sejak kecil aku suka melukis Ayah juga suka melukis Ayah sering mengajakku melukis bersama Jadi sekarang ayah mendaftarkanku di sanggar lukis Agar lukisanku semakin bagus Wah seru ya Ayahmu sangat mendukungmu Kalau kamu apa hobimu? Aku suka bermain basket Setiap sore aku bermain basket bersama kakak dan ayahku Wah hebat itu hobi yang bagus untuk kesehatan Kakakmu pemain basket Begitulah Kakakku kapten basket di sekolahnya Dan ayahku adalah pelatih basket Wah hebat Keluargamu senang olahraga ya Biasa saja Kami memang suka olahraga Kamu dan ayahmu juga hebat Kapan-kapan ajari aku bermain basket ya Aku ingin sekali belajar bermain basket Oke minggu ini saja anggun Aku juga ingin belajar melukis, ajari aku ya, pasti menyenangkan. Oke, aku sudah tidak sabar lagi. At least you can answer one of the questions. <laughs> Which question that you can answer? I heard something that she started when she was uh, very little, uh -huh. her hobby. Uh, but there is a question about that. They're speaking very fast. They're speaking very fast, okay. Uh, she played uh, basketball mm -hmm. with her brother and brother father. Brother and father, good. Yeah. Some trainings are on Sunday? No? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I will, I will listen to you once again with the translation. Kamu kemana kemarin Anggun? So, kamu kemana kemarin Anggun? So, when when were you yesterday? Where were you late like yesterday? Yeah. Aku ke rumahmu, tetapi kamu tidak ada. Aku ke rumahmu. I'm going to your house. Tapi kamu tidak ada. But, so but is tapi. But, tapi. tapi but kamu tidak ada you are not there you are not there yeah but you're not there okay so the one who speak first is ayu oh iya maaf aku sanggar. pergi bersama ayah ke sanggar lukis oh iya maaf aku pergi oh. bersama ayah ke sanggar lukis i'm sorry i was with my Father my father in uh, to, studio. Yeah, to the painting yes. studio. Yeah. Good. 
Sanggar lukis. Kamu suka melukis? Sanggar lukis? So asking. Mm-hmm. Studio of paint. Kamu suka melukis? Why do you like? Painting? Do you like painting? Yeah, not why, but asking just. Mm-hmm. Do you like a paint? Do you like painting? Yeah. Sejak kecil aku suka melukis. Ayah juga suka melukis. Sejak kecil aku suka melukis. Sejak kecil? Sejak Aku suka melukis. Ayah juga suka melukis. Oke, okay, you know. Yeah. Ayah sering mengajakku melukis bersama. Ayah sering ayah sering mengajakku melukis bersama. Ayah sering uh, my father often, often uh, paint with mengajakku mengajak 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 still remember mengajak word invite me or asking me mengajakku melukis bersama painting together good jadi sekarang ayah mendaftarkanku di sanggar lukis jadi sekarang ayah mendaftarkanku ke sanggar lukis atau di sanggar lukis jadi sekarang so jadi is so ya jadi so now father Ayah mendaftarkanku ke, di sanggar lukis Register, Register me, to me to the studio, studio. Okay. Agar lukisanku semakin bagus Agar lukisanku semakin bagus Agar is for or to yeah. For or to Agar lukisanku so uh, So For my painting to be better or to be more good, mm-hmm. yeah, bagus is good. So agar lukisanku so to make my painting to be more good or to be better. Yes. Okay. That's the reason why ayah Anggun mendaftarkannya ke sanggar lukis. Okay. Wah seru ya. Ayahmu sangat mendukungmu. Kalau wah seru ya, ayahmu sangat mendukungmu. Wow, so so uh, interesting. Ya seru itu it means wow, it's interesting or it's so cool or it is an expression actually to 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 show that you you like that hobby. Yeah, you like your 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 friend's hobby. Wow, seru ya. Ayahmu sangat mendukungmu. Your father sangat mendukung. What is sangat? Very or really mendukung? Really support you. Yeah, mendukung is support. Really support you. Oh, kamu apa hobimu? Ah. Kalau kamu apa hobimu? Kalau kamu Kalau, so, so if you, apa hobimu? What is your hobby? Aku suka bermain basket setiap sore. Aku suka bermain basket. I like to play basketball. Setiap sore aku bermain basket bersama kakak dan ayahku. Setiap sore aku bermain basket bersama kakak dan ayahku. Every yes, every evening setiap sore aku berbrother kakakku older older brother dan ayahku and my father. Yeah. Wah hebat itu hobi yang bagus untuk kesehatan. Wah hebat wow great ya hebat is great. Itu hobi yang bagus untuk kesehatan. Itu hobi. Bagus untuk kesehatan. What does it mean? This hobby. That hobby is good for health. Yeah, kesehatan is healthy for health. Okay. Next. Kakakmu pemain basket. Kakakmu pemain basket. Is your brother a basketball player? Kakakmu pemain basket. So it is question. So you're a player, yeah, something like that. So your brother is a player, 
basketball player? And then the answer is Itulah, kakakku kapten basket di sekolahnya Begitulah, ya yeah. Like, begitulah is the answer for agree Or saying yes Ya, yeah. begitulah, begitulah Ya yeah. Something like that, ya yeah. begitulah is something like that Ya, yeah, something like that Kakakku pemain basket di sekolahnya So, my older brother is is the captain is the captain of the basketball in his school. Dan ayahku adalah pelatih basket. Dan ayahku adalah pelatih basket. And my father, my father is a trainer. Is a trainer. So the question for number 10, the answer is ayah. Ayahnya. Ya. Yeah. Yang melatih ayu. Wah, hebat! Keluargamu senang olahraga ya? Wah, hebat! Keluargamu senang olahraga ya? What does it mean? Wah, hebat! Keluargamu senang olahraga ya? Oh, great! Yeah, good. Yeah, wow, great! Your families love to, to do exercise or doing sport. Yeah, your family love to do sport yeah just to emphasize the question yeah yeah is asking actually so your family loves loves uh to doing sport right yeah biasa saja biasa saja so so yeah biasa saja is like so so biasa saja biasa saja so so or ordinary Yeah. Kami memang suka olahraga. Kami memang suka olahraga. Kami memang memang is indeed. So we indeed love exercise, exercise or doing sport. Yeah. Olahraga is a sport. Olahraga. Olahraga. So it's the uh, it's two words. Olahraga. Sport. Oke. Okay. Kamu dan ayahmu juga hebat. Kapan-kapan? Kamu dan ayahmu juga hebat. You and your father juga too great. So, you and your father is great too. Or you and your father is also good. Ya, yeah, or is also great. So, juga it could be too, it could be also. Ya. Yeah. Ajari aku bermain basket ya. Kapan-kapan ajari aku bermain basket ya. So, kapan-kapan? Still remember kapan-kapan? When? No. Ya, yeah, kapan is when. But kapan-kapan is not when-when. <laughs> Later. Later? Exactly. Oke, okay, kapan-kapan ajari aku main basket ya? Ajari? Ajari is teach me. So, ajari aku is teach me. So, later teach me. Playing basketball ya. Oke. Okay. Aku ingin sekali belajar bermain basket. Oh. Aku ingin sekali belajar bermain basket. I really want. Ya. Yeah. I really want to pl to learn basketball. To learn how to play basketball. So s there are two words of sang of uh, very or really. It is sangat or sekali. But you use sangat before the word and you use sekali after. Later, okay, maybe next next week I will teach you about Sangat dan sekali. Oke, okay, minggu ini saja Anggun. Oke, okay, minggu ini saja Anggun. Oke. Okay. Minggu ini? This week. This week. Oke, okay, how about this week Anggun? So, are you asking Anggun uh, to... Are, are you is inviting Anggun to training, having a basketball training? This week. Minggu ini saja Anggun. How about this week? Ya. Yeah. Aku juga ingin belajar melukis. Aku juga ingin belajar melukis. 
I, aku juga, juga, two. Also, also or two, ya, yeah, that's good. Aku juga ingin belajar. Want to learn of painting. Yeah. Jari aku ya, pasti menyenangkan. Ajari aku ya, pasti menyenangkan. Ajari aku, ajari, ajari, teach me. Teach me ya, so please teach me ya. Please teach me, pasti menyenangkan. Pasti, it must be. Pasti, it must be interesting. Or it must be fun. Menyenangkan is fun. Ya. Yeah. Pasti menyenangkan. Menye. M. E. N. Y. Y. E. Menye. Nang. N. A. N. G. Menyenang. N. K. A. N. Menyenang. Menyenang. Nang, M E N Y, E menye, menye, M M N N N N nano, N A N G, N A N G, K A N menyenangkan, K A N, K A N, yes. Pasti menyenangkan. It must be fun. Ya, menyenangkan. Fun. Oke, okay, aku sudah tidak sabar lagi. Kamu. Oke, okay, aku sudah tidak sabar lagi. Oke, okay, I can't wait. Tidak sabar is impatient. Ya, impatient. Sabar is patient. Sabar, patient. Tidak sabar, so impatient. Not, not patient. Aku sudah tidak sabar lagi. Oke, okay, I can wait. In English. Okay, so you know the answer for those questions. I will call Baba David to come. So what is the answer of number one? Mengapa Anggun pergi ke Sanggar Lukis? Mengapa? Why? Anggun is going to the Sanggar Lukis. Ini hobi. Hobi Anggun. Oke. Okay. Siapa yang hobi bermain basket? Uh, Ayu. Ayu, great. Pekerjaan ayah Ayu? Trainer. 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 Fra. Pelatih. 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 Number four, dengan siapa Anggun belajar melukis? Dengan siapa? With whom? Anggun belajar melukis? Ayah. Ayah. Ayahnya. Ayah. Her sister. Her father. Apa hobi ayah Anggun? The same. With Anggun? Melukis. Yes, good. Number six, mengapa ayah Anggun mendaftarkan ke Sanggar Lukis? To to make her painting better. better. So what is it in bahasa? Untuk membuat lukisannya lebih Good. lebih bagus. Good. Yeah. Mengapa basket hobi yang bagus? Why basketball is good hobby? Mengapa basket hobi yang bagus? Karena Because Karena Karena ke, Kesehatan 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 is to the south Selatan is south <laughs> Sehat karena untuk kesehatan yeah. Sehat Kapan Ang Ayu dan Anggun berlatih basket? Kapan? When? Kapan? This week? Minggu ini. Minggu ini, good. And then kapan Ayu berlatih basket bersama keluarganya? The same, the same answer actually. Minggu ini, ya. Yeah. 
And then the last, siapa yang melatih Ayu? Ayah? Ayahnya. Oke, okay, ayahnya. Oke, okay, now, that's all. I still have like many material after this, but we should stop. We can go to gamelan class. Oh, Gamelan można przetłumaczyć jako uderzanie, więc bardzo stąd wywnioskować, że mamy do czynienia z muzyką perkusyjną. Te instrumenty, które tutaj widzimy, to są przede wszystkim metalofony. Takie gongi, zarówno myszące, jak i leżące oraz instrumenty szatkowe. One są wykonane z brązu. Brąz to jest taki metal, któremu Jawajczycy od wielu, wielu stuleci przypisywali różne ponad naturalne moce, bo jest to stop bardzo odporny i z brązu właśnie wykonywane są różne takie magiczne przymioty, jak na przykład krisy, czyli sztylety jawajskie i między innymi gamela, dlatego też e, gamelan jest w ten sposób postrzegany, przypisywana jest niemu naturalna moc, każdy gamelan też posiada swoją duszę, która zamieszkuje gąk agent, największym gąku gamelanu i gamelan traktowany jest z ogromnym szacunkiem, na przykład właśnie wchodząc do miejsca, gdzie stoi sobie gamelan, trzeba zająć się obuwie z luk, nie wolno też przechodzić nad instrumentami gamelanu, mimo że one są niskie, można by było zrobić nad nimi krok, ale <coughs> zasada jest taka, że zawsze trzeba je obchodzić dookoła. Jawajczycy nam tutaj przepraszają na kulonną łun i dopiero przychodzą. Jawajczycy dla kultury jawajskiej gamelan jest bardzo istotny, bo odgrywa bardzo ważną rolę w tamtejszym ceremoniale. Gamelan się rozwijał przez no, wiele stuleci, pierwszy zestaw Gamelanu miał powstać według legend jawajskich mniej więcej około III wieku naszej ery. No i po dzień gamelan można usłyszeć m.in. w kartonach, czyli w jawajskich dworach, w czerwonej w sura karcie, gdzie gamelan gra podczas różnego rodzaju ceremonii, towarzyszy też tańcom i przedstawieniom teatru cieni Wayan Kulit. Muzyka gamelanowa to jest zawsze działanie zespołowe, tutaj też nie ma miejsca na indywidualne popisy. Wszyscy Muzycy muszą się wzajemnie uzupełniać. Tak naprawdę dla Jewajczyków to wszystko, co widzimy, to nie jest orkiestra. To jest jeden instrument, który obsługuje wielu muzyków. Jak to się robi, to za chwilę Państwo spróbujecie e, e, sami się o tym przekonać. E, I może spróbujemy właśnie coś zagrać. Na pewno będzie potrzebna jedna osoba. Zaraz, ile nas jest? Okay. Dwie osoby mogą dostać sobie tutaj. Tutaj jedna osoba na pewno będzie potrzebna. Śmiało. Nic trudnego. Znaczy to będzie naprawdę łatwo. Tutaj kolejna osoba. Z tej strony czy z tej strony? Tak, z tej strony. Z tej strony leży poduszka. Śmiało, śmiało, śmiało. Nie, to my się nie wstydzimy, tylko tam walczymy. Tak, tak. W przygodniach mogą usiąść dwie osoby. Można usiąść no, w tyłem do reszty, ale spokojnie będziemy grać wolno, więc będzie można też patrzeć na to, co jest napisane na tablicy. To, to będzie dla nas bardzo istotne. E, tak, z tej strony sobie proszę wziąć. Może pani wejść po schodkach. I one są wszystkie ściągane tak z Tak, 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 tak. One przyjechały w latach 80. do Polski. Większość na wasach indonezyjskich na świecie ma tak? swoje zestawy. E, Zwłaszcza w pierwszych latach istnienia Republiki Indonezji bardzo moc, bardzo, bardzo duży nacisk składziono na dyplomację kulturalną i wtedy właśnie posprowadzano te zestawy i w większości, przy większości masa działania na tych zespołach. No dobrze, to teraz jak się do tego zabrać? Każdy z muzyków ma swoją określoną rolę w zespole. To jest tak. To, co widzimy na tablicy, to jest nasza notacja. Notacja cyfrowa, którą wprowadzono na początku XX wieku. Do końca XIX wieku funkcjonował w tradycji ustnej. I dopiero na początku XX wieku wymyślili sobie taką notację, żeby zapisywać no przede wszystkim ten dawny repertuar, który był zapominany, żeby go zachować dla potomnych. I teraz tak. Tutaj Państwo siedzący przy tych szczotkowych instrumentach. One się nazywają sarą, więc e, pan i pani wygracie to, co jest zapisane tutaj na czarno. Te cyferki oznaczają poszczególne 
numery sztabek. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 i 7. Od tej dużej, tak? Tak, liczymy od, od lewej do prawej. Od lewej do prawej. Tak. Spróbujmy sobie powoli z, z, zagrać tę melodię właśnie na salonach. Uwaga, ja policzę to tak, do czterech i na cztery uderzycie Państwo sześć. To jest Wasza pierwsza nutka i później gracie to, co jest zapisane niżej. Raz, dwa, trzy, sześć, trzy, pięć, sześć, pięć. Mhm. I tak dalej. Śmiało, śmiało, śmiało. Ok, jeszcze raz, jeszcze raz. Dobra. No od razu jeszcze sobie dodamy kolejny jest instrument, to będzie ketuk, na którym będzie go fan. Jest ten gong. Tak? I pana zadaniem jest uderzanie tego gongu pomiędzy uderzeniami saronów. Więc pan, on, pan, on, pan, on. To się musi zazębiać. Eee, ten, nie, nie, ten, właśnie ten, 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 ten opór pana tutaj. I gramy, no właśnie, w ten sposób. Jak my to potem będzie to szło? A z kolei u pani, wiecie, ten no. Tutaj mamy tak, na czwórkę i dwa, trzy, pięć, sześć i siedem. Nie ma cztery, nie ma jeden. I pani gra co drugą cyferkę z tego zapisu, pięć. Więc tak, pięć, tak? Później 5, 5, nie ma, nie, nie ma 4, 2, 3, 5. Tak, to jest 5. Mhm. Ok, jeszcze raz sobie spróbujemy. Raz, dwa, trzy, trzy, tu.
Dobra, zapętlamy. Dobra. Więc kontynuujemy. Dobra, to jeszcze raz. A ja zagram jeszcze... Ostatni z instrumentu. No jak? Przecież to był bardziej. Uwaga! No tak. No tak. Spróbujmy. Raz, dwa, trzy. Dum. Odpuścimy po prostu politę do czterech i, i, i zaczniemy grać. Będzie to powtarzane cały czas. W pewnym momencie utwór <coughs> przyspiesza. Ja będę kierował tym tętem. Więc sobie przyspieszymy. Od początku zagramy szybciej. Zaczniemy zwalniać. Zwalniamy, 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 zwalniamy. Zawieszamy melodię na przedostatniej nutce. Po czym po kilku sekundach przerwy uderza wielki gong i dopiero jak się odezwie gong, pozostałe osoby mogą dograć swój ostatni A, ja dźwięk. Tak to, tak to wygląda. No kochani. No to próbujemy. A wam no, 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 no. jest jakieś konkretne tempo na końcu też? Czy to jest tak, że się uderza w ten gong, kiedy się... Kiedy e, z opóźnieniem. Kiedy... Tak, kiedy... trzeba, trzeba wytworzyć pewne napięcie, trzeba odczekać. Kilka, kilka sekund. Właśnie nie ma być to równo w pulsie, tylko właśnie zawieszamy melodię, czekamy z 5 sekund, uderzamy w jeszcze gong. Nie, ja czy to jest już Tak, tak. Uwaga! Ty Tak. Raz, dwa, trzy, cztery.
di Gran Milano, però della Gong, di me, lo che rimane nella nostra No, sam niestety nie, tak jak mówiłem, jest to muzyka zespołowa. Ale chodzi mi o to, Tak, no to, znaczy to jest o tyle proste, że zawsze jest to na cztery. Kepitu, on zawsze jest na raz i na trzy, a salony są zawsze na dwa i na cztery, więc to jest zawsze tu, tam, tu, tam, tu, tam, tu, tam, tu, tak. Cały czas się to mija i się to zazębia. Powiedzmy, że prawa ręka to ketuk, mm -hmm. lewa to salon i to powinno w muzyce wyglądać tak, że gramy na przemian. Tak? Więc no, 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 wymaga rzeczywiście dużej współpracy i słuchania siebie nawzajem, bo często właśnie te instrumenty działają w takich parach, gdzie trzeba. I to się zawsze zapisuje w tej formie? Znaczy jest to, jest, jest wiele, na przykład powstało wiele różnych notacji, ale to się najbardziej przyjęło, więc współcześnie stosuje się w zasadzie tylko to. Chyba, że znaczy ona została skrojona specjalnie do zapisu tej tradycyjnej muzyki gamelanowej i się do tego doskonale nadaje, ale oczywiście to jest to żywa tradycja, powstają kompozycje współczesne, gdzie gra się czasami rzeczy, których nie da się zapisać na notację i wtedy też się kompozytorzy posiłkują. A nasz guru umie grać na tym? Słucham? Nasz guru umie grać na tym? E, nasz guru? Ja? Pisał mój gamelan? Brutina pisa. Znaczy, właśnie, no, to jest ta kwestia tej ogromnej, ogromnego wodzostwa kulturowego indonezyjnego. Tak. Guru pochodzi z regionu, który jest oddalony od tysiące kilometrów od Jawy, więc tam gamelanu nie ma, za to są no, inne też podobne zespoły muzyczne. Zresztą cała Indonezja, cała Azja Południowo-Wschodnia muzykologii, letną muzykologii nazywana jest obszarem kultury gongu, bo tam rzeczywiście i w Wietnamie, i na Filipinie. I wszędzie w tym gongu właśnie jest przypisywana w ta, ta szczególna, szczególna moc. Ale ten balijski jest trochę chyba szybszy. Tak, 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 tak. tak. Oj, jeżeli chodzi o style w muzyce gamelanowej, to jest ich naprawdę sporo. Um, w samej muzyce balijskiej i też jest tu różnych kilkanaście w nią. E, kilkanaście różnych na ten Więc niektóre też są spokojniejsze. Ten taki wybuchowy styl Kebiar, który jest najbardziej znany i który najczęściej można usłyszeć e, na nie wiem, podczas różnych występów organizowanych dla turystów gdzieś tam w Ubud, czy w innych częściach Bali. E, ten styl powstał dopiero w latach 30 20 20 20 Więc jest to w stosunku do mała muzyka. I po raz pierwszy był pokazany na w wystawie światowej w Paryżu w 1935 i wtedy tam też zrobił ogromne, ogromną furorę i też cała masa kompozytorów europejskich. Z Maurycem Marvelem akurat wtedy na czele się zainteresował ten Jeżeli macie Państwo jakieś pytania, to służę pomocą, a jeżeli nie, to dziękuję. Dziękujemy bardzo. Dziękujemy bardzo. Sama, sama. So I think that's all about today. But it is really great for you as a beginner. Yeah, that's good. Yeah.